My most popular video is on why study economics. It's been viewed more than 38,000 times. And the common question that people usually post is, will I be successful if I study economics or what can I do with an economics degree? So today, like an economist, what I wanna do is I wanna dig behind the data, show you what an econ major can lead to using publicly available data set. So in this video, I'll show you the data and how to download it. Uh, I'll show you where economics ranks as top majors in the United States, the popularity of the economics degree throughout the age distribution, and then I'll show you the top 10 occupations for econ majors. And then we'll look at some wages, average wage by age, but hopefully giving you access to the data is going to allow you to be able to answer your own questions. And that's what I love about being an economist is we use data. First, we know where to get the data. Two, we use data to answer questions. All right, so let's dig into the data. If you're new here, my name is Dr. A. I'm an economist at Northern Kentucky University. And if uh, you like economics and professional development, then this is the channel for you. Make sure to subscribe. All right, let's geek out on data. So I'm going to use the American Community Survey. And what I love about the American Community Survey is it asks participants about their field of study, their first field of study, their second field of study. So we're able to pick out people that studied economics either as a first major or a second major. I love the ACS because of this. It gives you a lot of uh, measures about local communities. So if you're interested in what jobs people do, what industries they work in, income and things of that sort, you'll be able to access that data. So let's talk about accessing the data, how I get it. I use IPUMS to access the ACS. And if you go to IPUMS USA, you can start to download the data. First, you could start by picking the years that you want. Then you could go into the data that uh, you want to measure the variables that you're interested in. For instance, demographics, occupations, wages. You just click on them and then you submit your request. Once you submit your request, IPUMS will send you an email. Obviously, you need an account. It's a free account. Just make sure to go ahead and create one. IPUMS will email you that your data is ready. Then you could start digging into the data. So I collected data from 2010 to 2019, and that gave me a total of 31 million observations. That's amazing. And then from there, I started to just clean up the data and, you know, I might actually link to my do file um, so you could access how I cleaned up the data. But once I cleaned up the data, then I went ahead and started to ask some questions. So the first question I asked is, where does economics rank in the top majors uh, studied? And what we have here is Roughly 77% of individuals that responded to the ACS during this time frame did not indicate that they had economics as a, uh, did not indicate what field of study that they majored in. But the most popular major of field or field of study is business management and administration. 1.4% of the U.S. population has studied that major. Then you have things like psychology, elementary education, general business, and so on. Economics is ranked. 13th in the US during that time frame with 0.46% of the population studying economics. After that, you have marketing research, marketing and marketing research. Next, I looked at economics popularity across year of birth. So another way of looking at age. And I have data from 1915 to 1999 of the fraction of the population that majored in economics by birth year. What we will find over here is people born in 66, 0.857% uh, of them majored in economics. So economics was a popular major for people born in 1966. Uh, before that, the popularity of economics had been increasing and since then it has been decreasing. If you're born in the 2000s, then you're still in college. Right? So what we're measuring there is not necessarily the popularity of economics, but most of the people haven't graduated yet, so we'll need a couple of years. But there has been a decline in economics as a pop, uh, the popularity of economics as a major. Next, I asked what are the top 
10 jobs for econ majors. And what we see over here is conditional on becoming an econ major, either your first or second degree of study, 5.32% of those individuals identify as managers. Then lawyers and judges, we know economics is a really great major to study if you're going to law school. Um, economists also are accounts, auditors, financial managers, and so on. But this gives you an idea about the 10, top 10 jobs that econ majors have for the entire um, uh, data set that we have. You all asked about money. A lot of you are worried about studying economics and if this is going to translate to good income. And what I did over here is I just tabulated the, the top 10 highest paying jobs. Actually, I did the top, let me see, top 15 highest paying jobs conditional on somebody being studying economics. Obviously, this is not really the best way to go about it, but it gives you an idea. So physicians and surgeons, there's somebody that studied economics as their first field of study and then became a physician, uh, at least one person. I don't have the sample sizes over here, uh, which is something that I would probably do differently next time. So $160,000 for that physician, CEOs, $135,000, sales engineers. These are all just examples of high paying jobs, but on average, Economists make $45,000 a year, and that might seem low, but that is across, you know, the, the entire data set. All right, so if you're watching this, you are probably not, um, you know, 45, 65, you're probably still in college. And what you'd be interested in is the wages and the jobs for individuals that are under 25, but have studied economics. And what we find is the highest median wage is $79,000 and that's for buyers and purchasing agents. And then you go, you could be a technical writer, um, technicians, actuaries is right there at $61,000. And then this gives you just an example of the vast possible differences in career paths that you could have with an econ major, which if you watch my previous video, you know, is the reason that I love economics as a major. All right, let's 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 look at the median wage by age and degree type. And what we have here is a graph for three different samples, non-economics majors, business majors, and then economics majors. What you will notice is, you know, income start low early on in your career and they increase in all of these samples. But economics has the highest increase and for most of them, the ages between 41 and 49 years old are the, uh, you know, prime income earning years. And for economists, that is roughly $80,000. For business majors, that's $60,000. And for non-econ majors, it is $30,000. So this is really important for you to look at and something to think about in the non-econ majors. This also includes the people that didn't go to college. That's why it's really low. Um, so this is just a quick summary of how I would look at the data. Obviously, we could go more in depth. We could analyze it differently. But if you are interested in studying economics and wanted to look at the data, you can do that yourself. Just reach, just download the American Community Survey, find the sample of years that you want, and you could answer your own questions. That's what I love about being an econ major. You too can do this. I would love to see what analysis you come up with uh, after downloading your own data set. Reach out if you have questions, I would love to answer them. I wanna give a shout out to Antoine Batts and that's because he invited me, we connected via YouTube and he invited me to Old Dominion University to give this presentation. So a part of this presentation uh, was presented uh, at their economics club was it in March sometime? So thank you. If you're interested in having me come to your university to present, I would love to do that. Reach out, study economics. It's the best major, simply put. If you've made it this far, make sure to like, subscribe, and watch some other videos. If you haven't checked out the Why Economics video, you'll love it. Check it out.